there is one of me and 26 students. I cannot be with everyone at the same time. Adding on to that, I don't know some of these. So the idea came to me that they're eager, they're willing, it's part of learning, it's part of community. And I pushed the 3030 to the classroom and I said, go explore. I did take a minute to explain to them the assessment part, like these apps are used to assess, this is used to create, etc. And I said, um, go for it. Nice. And figure it out. And as you learn, teach me, teach others, help us problem solve. If somebody's stuck, for example, when we did classroom, a couple students forgot how to turn something in. I didn't have to stop teaching. I didn't have to stop working with a student. Another student said, I know exactly how to do that. I'm going to come help you. And so we got a piece of poster paper, put lines, put areas of expertise, such as Google Classroom, Google Docs, Google Draw, uh, My Simple Show, Tagzito, all of these things that they're learning, baseball cards or trading cards in the 3030, and other things that they might know. And so things that they already came to class knowing, we've just added to our, our tech wall and I keep it at the front of the room. Tell me about your Tech Masters plan for your classroom. Oh, so we all have a job on here, and one of the things that I'm good at is Google Docs, and I can help people by um, like showing them how to do stuff. Like, there's different like features, like transitions on it, that we could help people with editing videos, and. There's a ton of things that people can get messed up at, but we found out ways to like make them easier. Uh, I do transitions, which is basically animations on possibly like Google Slides, like how things can fly in from like different directions. What, who's somebody that you asked for help, and what did you ask them for help about? Uh, Savannah was one of the people, and she helped me with importing a video into the slides, because that can also give more information with whatever message you're trying to get across. And what do you help people do with PowerPoint? Um, you can, we can help to um, put like pictures in the background, like the words go over the text to like have pictures, and then you can also like do different design on it. Yeah, I can change the font of the word. Nice. I'm good at Tuxedo, which is a um, a website that lets you create wordles, which um, make a you have a shape and you fill it with words that describe one thing. And I'm good at helping people design theirs and print it out. We have a business community. And so if you think about it, when you want something printed or you want business cards or you want a computer help, you go look for businesses that provide that service and that resource. Because you can't be a master of everything. And so you rely on others to come in and help support you. And that's really what we're, we're like an organization. We're like our own business here. And they feel empowered. They feel really confident. It's excellent when you have an exceptional ed student with a learning disability who says, you know what, I'm an expert there. And I can now, I'm not always the one receiving help. I can go help. And it takes some kids who are shy, some kids who have maybe autism or are on the spectrum and aren't naturally comfortable socially. They become very expert at something and they're they're finally saying, hey, I can help, I can offer this, I can be part of this community too. That's amazing. I just think about how this is going to benefit them in the real world when they get out in the world and of it work. it benefits the teacher in the classroom because the pressure is off of you to be everywhere at once, know everything at once, and you're able to help with the content. You're able to help with the teaching part of learning whatever it is content-wise we're working on. These kids are figuring out the best way to present information and to show knowledge. So it's not just information, it's showing knowledge. But in at the same time, they're problem solving, they're learning, they're reading, they're following directions, they're looking at the videos that say, because I show them, if you look at the 30 and 30, it gives you the website to tell you how to do it, to follow the directions. Well, there you go. They're following directions. Well, you might have to do that in real life. That's you might, crazy. You might have to, even in the classroom sometimes. But, you know, it just frees you up. It frees you up. And you're also not using an hour of time to teach a process. Right. They're teaching 